I tried beating the Calamity mod in Terraria, but every single mob we kill drops random loot. This can range anywhere from a zombie dropping a copper short sword to a zombie dropping the mage hammer of might. Will I be able to beat Supreme Flame Boy and complete the game, or will I never get any good items and give up? Well, let's find out. As soon as I got into the game, the very first thing I did was activate Revengeance mode. Because what is Calamity without Revengeance? I went right into chopping trees, and during that process, I spotted my very first slime. I killed it, and I got an Urchin Spear, which does 17 melee damage. You know what? It's not the best weapon, but it'll have to do for now. I waited for my friend to join the game, and now everything was in full swing. I headed to the left side of the world, found a snow biome, and went headfirst into exploring the very first cave I saw. In the process of that, I actually got the Sentinels of the Devourer. I know it has absolutely no use, but I just kept it in my inventory for fun. And to add insult to injury, as we were making our way down, I actually got hit by a poison trap which dealt loads of damage, and I died. I made my way back to the same cave, killed a slime, and it actually dropped a Statagel helmet, which is pretty decent armor for our stage of the game. I mined up the pressure plate that killed me last time, and got back to exactly where I was. I made my way further down to the cave, got hit by another dart trap, and once again, I ended up dying. Once I came back to the surface, I killed a blue slime, and it actually ended up dropping a very good weapon. I got the Ultimus Cleaver, which does 134 melee damage, so for the time being, we're gonna use that. I made my way to the jungle, as I knew the spawn rates there were absolutely insane, and if we can only obtain weapons by fighting mobs, then the jungle is our best friend. In this process, we ended up getting some overpowered accessories, and as I approached the jungle temple, the traps went off and I ended up dying. But that's alright because we made our way back to the right and actually went out of my way to explore the desert pyramid. I got some pretty neat swords as I was making my way into the cave. Once again, some better accessories. But during this time, I killed the mob and it actually ended up dropping a weapon that absolutely shifted the tides of the entire game. As I killed the jungle slime, it ended up dropping me the mage hammer of might, which I'm pretty sure is one of the best weapons in the entire Calamity mod. We were pretty set to beat any single boss that was going to challenge us. I picked up the weapon, look at how much damage it does. This weapon does 16,899 melee damage. There's absolutely nothing that stands a single chance against this weapon. After I made my way out of the cave, I went over to the left side of the world to fight the Aquatic Scourge. Look at how this went. It got absolutely one-shotted. This is gonna be an easy playthrough. We made our way over to Skeletron's dungeon, and as soon as my friend spawned him in, we defeated him in less than a millisecond. I decided to explore the dungeon because the spawn rates there are incredibly high, meaning that we can get loot fairly quickly. After spending enough time in the dungeon, I decided to make our way back to spawn, and this is where we decided to work on a elevator to make our way down to the underworld. I didn't want to beat the wall of flesh yet, as we still had a few more bosses to go, so during this time, we ended up building a couple of houses so we can get some NPCs to move in, preferably the guide, and the nurse. We built a fair amount of houses, got a ton of NPCs to move in, and decided that we should just spawn the wall of flesh and get it over with as fast as we can. Using the elevator, we made our way down to the underworld, dropped the guide voodoo doll into the lava, and absolutely shredded through the wall of flesh's health. It wasn't even a challenge whatsoever. As soon as we made our way back to the overworld, my friend actually had a summon for all three mechanical bosses, so we fought them right away to get rid of them and progress as fast as we could. These guys went down in absolutely no time whatsoever. My friend actually ended up dying like the newbie is, so I actually ended up finishing off the bosses myself, but now we can actually move on to fighting Plantera. Now there was a problem. Since we were progressing way too quickly, we actually didn't give any time for Plantera's bulb to grow, meaning that we were going to have to wait a fair amount of time before her summon actually grows. Trying to rush this process, we spent way too much time searching for the bulb, but during that time, I ended up summoning and killing the Queen Bee. I got myself a few more accessories, and after trying to find Plantera's bulb for a solid hour, we just decided to move on to a different boss while we wait for her bulb to grow. We went to the right side of the world in order to explore the ocean and fight the Leviathan. This epic boss fight lasted about 10 seconds, and surprisingly, I actually ended up dying. So props to my friend for killing the boss himself. After we killed the Leviathan, we made our way back to the jungle, as by this time, Plantera's bulb had to have been spawned in by now. After searching for her bulb for a solid half an hour, my friend actually managed to find it very close to the underworld. We broke the bulb as fast as we could to summon Plantera in, and to no one's surprise, absolutely shredded through her health. After this, we ended up farming the Wall of Flesh a couple of times and proceeded to make our way to the Jungle Temple. Within the Jungle Temple, we ended up summoning a golem and fighting him a couple of times just to get some of his loot. We moved our way out of the Jungle Temple and proceeded to fight the Lunatic Cultist. This was a very flashy and colorful boss fight, but don't let that distract you from the fact that we absolutely destroyed the Lunatic Cultist. We ended up fighting through the Vortex Pillar extremely quickly with our overpowered weapons, moved on to the Stardust Pillar, shredded through the mobs there as well, finished off the Solar Pillar as fast as we could,
good and left the nebula pillar for last. Once all the pillars were done, Moon Lord was about to spawn in and without any preparation, we were almost 100% sure that we were going to beat him without any trouble. And let me tell you, we were absolutely right. Moon Lord lasted a solid 60 seconds before we absolutely demolished him. Well, this is where the real journey begins. We made our way down to the underworld to farm out materials so we can craft a summon for the profane guardians. While my friend was down in the underworld getting more unholy essence, I ended up fighting the Moon Lord so we could actually have enough luminite to craft the summon. We went over to the surface hallowed by him and absolutely shredded the profane guardians. We were actually so confident that we decided to do it a couple of more times. After the profane guardians, we ended up fighting Providence and this was actually a little bit more challenging. Even with the absolutely overpowered weapons we had, this boss did give us a run for our money. But in comparison of what's to come, Providence was absolutely a piece of cake. After Providence, we summoned in the Ravager, defeated that boss with absolutely no struggle. My friend ended up killing Cygnus off screen, which I absolutely hate him for, but next we were moving on to fighting the Stormweaver. We made our way over to space and summoned him in. He was an absolutely easy boss, but trust me, there are many more challenging bosses to come. We made our way over to Skeletron's dungeon to summon in and beat the Ceaseless Void, which somehow I managed to die to, but props to my friend for killing him. I summoned in Skeletron Prime just for fun, absolutely destroyed him once, destroyed him twice, but now we were ready for the man himself. We made our way over to the left side of the world, got to the highest mountain we could climb onto, and summoned in the Devourer of Gods. Check out how this boss fight went. We absolutely shredded through all of its health within literally 5 seconds. We are unstoppable. We decided to actually fight him again, but this time we took an insane amount of damage as he hit me head on, and the tables turned a little bit, you know what? I respect him for destroying me that one time. But after that death, I was pretty mad and seeking revenge. We summoned him in a third time, and as expected, absolutely demolish this boss. After this, I went to Skeletron's dungeon to farm out Ectoplasm because we needed to summon in the Frost Moon to obtain endothermic energy. After we fought through all the Frost Moon, we actually ended up with over 100 endothermic energy, and as soon as that ended, we decided to summon in the Pumpkin Moon in search of Nightmare Fuel. Once again, as with the Frost Moon, we ended up getting hundreds of Nightmare Fuel, meaning we probably won't ever have to do that event ever again. And thank God, because that was devastating. We died many, many times. After all that, we made our way over to the jungle by and proceeded to fight Yarn. We actually ended up getting through his first phase without any trouble whatsoever. But remember, the first phase is an absolute joke. As soon as we summoned in the second stage, I almost died right away. If it wasn't for my friend carrying me here, I would have done absolutely no damage to this boss and would not have killed him. I kept on dying over and over and over again, having to make my way back constantly, and I just kept on dying. Very soon, we both ended up dying, making us redo the boss fight. On our second try, we actually got much further, and even though I still died a couple of times, we ended up killing Yarn. My friend actually ended up giving me a weapon called the Last Tantrum, which is an absolutely overpowered rapid fire machine gun. We got extremely cocky and decided to challenge Supreme Calamitas as fast as we could. Oh man, we were not ready for this whatsoever. We summoned in Supreme Calamitas, and within the first 10 seconds, I ended up dying. It was a long and grueling process of teleporting back and forth and back and forth to my friend after dying, but eventually, we both ended up dying, and we had to retry the boss fight. We went at it a few more times with absolutely no luck. There were times where we actually got really close to the end of the boss fight, just to die with Calamitas only having a sliver of HP left. In this boss fight, I died over and over and over and over and over again. This was so devastating. I really wanted to quit, but my friend said, hey, let's try one more time. We were so close to beating the game. In our last push, as soon as the boss fight started, I died to the bullet hell portion of the fight, but as soon as I respawned, I made my way right back and sent the top left and top right side of the arena to take care of the boss. Before I could do anything, I ended up dying once more. I quickly teleported back and ended up spamming my weapon as fast as I could, only to die once again. I teleported back, and this time we actually ended up dealing solid damage to Supreme Calamitas. I died once again to the bullet hell portion, but thank god my friend was good enough at the game to stay alive throughout this whole boss fight. I was essentially dealing the damage and he was just staying alive so I could teleport to him. By this point we got Calamitas extremely low and he only had a sliver of health left. I ended up dying but I teleported back to the arena and this is what happened. We ended up killing Supreme Calamitas with absolutely random drops. We were in absolute shock that we actually ended up killing the boss but by this point I was just happy we finished the playthrough. If you guys want to see more videos like this be sure to check out another one on screen. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're new, be sure to join our Discord in the description down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.